What is up, YouTube? It's Kesmir, and I'm back with The Walking Dead. Um, see, I think we just got to episode two of season one. We just got to the motor in. I think it's going to recap for us, so let's watch. Or maybe not. I thought it was going to recap. Three months later. Savage. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well... That's another meal lost. Who is this guy? I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Levy knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Yeah, we gotta deal with Larry. He thinks I'm a danger to the group, and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Three whole months? We haven't dealt with that guy. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. And there's not much meat on that little bird. Is that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Raw, raw. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Shut up. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. 
gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, the trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Oh no. Oh farts. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please get me out of this. We gotta chop it off, guys. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Why is this happening to us? Um. Lee, do something. No, no, no. Oh. Fuck. We gotta chop the leg. We don't have time for this. Try to get the chain. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Let's go! Let's go! We don't... You want out, we're getting you out. Oh! <laughs> it has to be now! Oh! Oh, gosh! Oh! Damn it, Lee, just cut off his fucking ass! We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have oh. to go now! Ooh. Oh God. Shit. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Let's go. Behind you, Travis. Come on, come on. We gotta move. Um, run. Oh gosh. No! Well darn. Things just started out great, didn't they? Episode 2. In three months, you haven't found a proper hammer? I mean, come on, there had to have been at least one hammer somewhere to be found. It's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell are they? Don't have time to explain. Lee, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat! Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, your I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Come on, Lily, these are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know... You like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. 
Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Turd. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Four food items for ten hungry people? Let's keep it all to ourselves, guys. It would help if I knew who ate yesterday. That would factor in my, into my decision making. Wow, what a great start. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure, what do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Sorry, I'm smothering you. Sturdy, but it's not gonna hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. We dug through those for food a long time ago. Yummy. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Well, we gotta find that hat. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know. But Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I don't know who to I give sure the food so. to. You guys tell me. Tell me who to feed. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well... We'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. 
God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Keep an eye out. Fine. Well, eventually the food's gonna run out. You gotta either start manufacturing your own, be a grow on it, or gotta move to a new place to scavenge. Nice Word's pipe. getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. We shall see. We shall see. What's up, duck? You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix them. How you doing, duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? It's a sheep. Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. It's a giraffe. Catch you later, Doug. Definitely not Bye. a cat. Definitely not a cat. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Hey, Doug. <clears throat> ah. What's up, Lee? Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. Does it work? It should. We'll have to wait and see. Take it easy, Doug. You too, Lee. See, I knew it was a good idea to keep him around. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Oh, my goodness. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Eh. It's like, I wonder if I should try to befriend him to, like, release the tension. Yeah, that should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Ooh, I think that's a bad on, idea. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? That's not what I meant. No? Then what did you mean? All right, let's take a step back. Maybe you two should keep your distance. Fine with me. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> mm. 
Here we go. <sighs> You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Oh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Mm. I don't know. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. <sighs> like, part of me wants to give him food as, like, a peace offering, but then I'm just like, he's such a jerk that I don't think you get any amount of good that you throw his way will change him. What's that for? Oh, that, that was my first attempt at making an alarm system. The new version is much more sophisticated. All right, do we have anybody else to talk to? Who should we give food to, guys? I think I've talked to everybody. I don't know. You know what? We're feeding Clementine. I don't care what anybody says. For sure feeding her. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Oh, let's give Duck some hey, too. Duck. How about a little food? You can have cheese and crackers. Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Uh, and then... Let's give some to this guy. Want something to eat? Here, Ben. After what you've been through, seems like you could use a pick-me-up. Seriously? I know food's scarce. This is really... I really appreciate it, man. And I'm just... For myself... Oh, I forgot I should feed myself, too. Uh... Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. <sighs> as much as I hate to do it, I want to try and be diplomatic here let's give it to Larry here Larry oh I regret this already Lily would want you to keep your strength up I should shove this up your ass but I'm too hungry oh man just seeing the food is driving me crazy I'm sorry I feel bad. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ken, Lee, come here, please. I figured make good impression on he the new kid. It, did he? he lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. 
Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Actually, what he about is. the other kid? Yep, yep. That's what I mean. Oh. Oh, farts. I don't have my axe. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Larry. Oh, gosh. I couldn't see where the icon was at. Come on. Come on. Come on, folks. Oh, gosh. No! Ew. Gross. you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Calm down and eat your apple. Jeez. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Doug, it works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so, but they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No, we have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough! Oh, shit! Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but... Uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? 
You've got a deal. Why not? We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. All right. Um, I think I'm going to stop right here, guys. Uh, since we're coming up to this dairy, I don't know what to think about these guys. One of them looks pretty shady. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Kesmir out.